And the University of Notre Dame alumni are waking up to the truth that the university that aspires to be America's premier Catholic university is now fully embracing the homosexual agenda. Christine, uh, Church Militant's Christine Chrislieb reports on what might, uh, what might be the final nail in this coffin. While faithful Catholics around the world are celebrating the Sacred Heart of Jesus during the month of June, the University of Notre Dame is celebrating gay pride. The voices in support of, uh, of those gay rights have become um, more obvious, uh, more public. I think uh, it's fair to say now that there's no restraint at all. Dempsey, who has been monitoring Notre Dame's commitment to its historic mission, describes a turning point around 2005, early in Father John Jenkins' tenure. He authorized for the first time uh, the organization of uh, a club for gay students. Um, that uh, application had been made uh, over two or three decades uh, at the university uh, and had always been turned down. But the root of the problem lies at the feet of Father Edward Malloy. In 1988, he gave the green light to three women faculty members who came to him with the idea of establishing a gender studies program. That program became the launching pad for all things pro-LGBT. Asked of its plans to celebrate the month of the Sacred Heart, the Office of Campus Ministry said it was, quote, not aware of any plans for an initiative honoring the Sacred Heart in the month of June. Christine Christley, Church Militant, The Download, Detroit. To celebrate so-called gay pride, Notre Dame is also encouraging students and alumni to make a donation to the Human Rights Campaign, the largest homosexual activacy group in the United States. 